Today we're going to show you how to properly set the height of the auger in relation to the lip of the funnel using an auger gap gauge. You'll see here we have about a quarter inch to maybe a half inch of a gap between the bottom of the auger and the lip of the funnel. That's a bit excessive. We want about a 64th of an inch, which we often say is like a thumbnail or in this case an auger gap gauge. So we're going to set this auger gap gauge on the lip of the funnel right below the last flight of the auger and now we lower the auger onto the auger gap gauge. To adjust the auger, we're gonna take our half inch wrench and loosen this bolt right here. See, so we can raise and lower the auger now. Place it in there. We have the auger holding the gap gauge in place. I can tighten it up. Now when I pull out the auger gap gauge, you'll see we have that nice 64th of an inch gap. Now that we have the proper gap between the auger and the funnel, there will be no premature wear or heat buildup or any metal shavings that could occur if the auger was rubbing against the funnel. If you have one of our sanitary fillers, the procedure for adjusting the height of the auger is a bit different than it is for one of our regular fillers. You're gonna start out with a 7 16 inch wrench by loosening this bolt right here. Once we loosen that, that will allow us to adjust this big bolt here with an inch and an eighth wrench. If we go right, the auger is going to go down. If we go left, the auger is going to go up. Once you've made your adjustments, be sure to tighten up this bolt. And then once that's tight again, you are good to go. So that's how to properly use an auger gap gauge. This will really help prevent any premature wear to your auger and funnel and also just ensure you're running your machine properly.